hello you are welcome how to find the value of x in this nice algebra equation from here we can square both sides so on this side we have square root of 10 then root 10 then root 10 from here we can square this side so the square on this side we square everything and on this side 100 raised to the power x then square so the square here cancel the first root here and uh, here we have this cancel this and this remain 10 square root of 10 root 10 which is equals to when this power multiplies here we have 100 raised to the power 2x from the law of indices again we can square both side again we square this side and we also square this side now and from here when we square the left hand side this square will affect 10 and it will affect root 10 root 10 so from here we have 10 square then multiply by square we cancel square root here that's multiply by 10 then root 10 equals to here this power multiplies again we have 100 raised to the power 4x then from the, in the next step we have 10 raised to the power 2 then 10 raised to the power 1 on the law of indices we have same base then multiplying we can have the power and this will be 10 raised to the power 3 then multiply by root 10 which is equal to 100 raised to the power 4x next we square both side again we square this side then the square here affect 10 raised to the power 3 that is the power multiplies that become 10 raised to the power 6 then also we square root 10 and the square of root 10 is 10 because square we cancel square root which is equal to here the power multiply we have 100 raised to the power 8x then from here we have power of 1 here same base then we have 10 raised to the power 6 plus 1 which is 10 raised to the power 7 which is equal to here we can write this as 10 square that's 100 then raised to the power 8x and from here we have 10 raised to the power 7 equals to 10 raised to the power this power multiply and this 16x then we have same base then we can equate the power we have 7 equals to 16x so divide both sides by 16 from here 16 cancel 16 here we have x left then we can say x now will be equals to 7 over 16 and this we have the value of x in this problem also we can check if this solution satisfy the equation given please you can lay always on that and do that and share this video also give a thumbs up and see you in the next class bye for now